Hello everybody, in this tutorial we'll be covering the Brainstorm Photoshop exporter. So by the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to go from this in Photoshop to this in Aston. So how did we do this? Well, first step is I already have installed the uh, tool, the executable file. And then I have also already, I'm going to go ahead and go over to this lower third sample here. I've also already separated each uh, area of the graphic into separate groups. So in this case, I've separated my logo into one group. I've separated my main strap area here with the two text spots here um, with the, the main text and the sub and the subtext here in the main uh, strap area here and then the bottom ticker here I've also separated out in its own separate group. I then go up to file click file, I click scripts, I go down to scripts, and then I click the Brainstorm Photoshop exporter. I'm using the 1.2 version. And you'll notice here I have the Photoshop file that I'm working with, and it also in the same dropdown actually gives me any other ones that might be in these other tabs. I'll go ahead and click next. It'll prompt me to save right here. I haven't already saved my project. And depending on the size of the Photoshop file, it will take anywhere from one or two seconds to 30 or 40 seconds if you have dozens and dozens of, of layers and groupings. So here, thankfully, I have a pretty simple graphic. I only have three groups under the main parent group. And I'm going to go ahead and deactivate the... I'm not going to export the background in this case. I don't want a background behind my lower third. I'm going to also just have a general effect in where this will come in from the right. It'll displace from the right. And I'm going to also just make sure that the text effects that I have are relatively simple. And I'm also going to make sure that my logo layer is an editable field for my CG graphics. So I'll check the checkbox for editor here. And I want it to be actually the very first thing that the uh, end user could pick. So if they see at the very top of their form that they can pick a logo. Then I'm going to go ahead and Make sure that I have all my font fields available for editing. In this case, I do have a little ticker here. And I actually do, if I click the More button here, I have more advanced settings for my ticker. I can put it in ticker mode. I can choose a couple different options for how that ticker travels across the screen, how long it stays on, and what the margins are for it in real time. So I'll go ahead and change that margin to maybe 5. Everything looks good. I'll just make sure that I have maybe a default fade time. Yeah, it'll f that logo fade in at half a second. And we'll take a half a second to... Yeah, we'll take a half a second to fade in. That's perfect. All right. So now I will give my file a, a name, we'll just call it lower third. Perfect. And it is going to export to my brainstorm projects under a folder, a subfolder called Photoshop exporter. So I'll go ahead and click the export button here. And again, depending on the size of the Photoshop file and the number of layers, it may take anywhere from uh, 10, 15 seconds, like this one was maybe 10 seconds, 
uh, or it could take uh, it could take 45 seconds if you have dozens and dozens of, of layers that you're having to work through. So you'll see it actually is showing me here it is it's created the project files, all the assets and everything. And now if I go into Aston, I'll go up to File, Composition, Import, and I will browse up one level here to Photoshop Exporter, and lower third.scn is the file I just made. And I will click OK to import that. And there it is. And you'll notice that the default storm logic that this has already created for us is just fine for our use. So I can go ahead and I'll check my full screen with those uh, eight different lines and the two text fields on the title bar on the top. And then I can also click and see how my lower third looks here. And you see already the ticker is activated. It's automatically moving. And you'll notice when I go into the form as well for my lower third here that I can pick an image, different image if I wanted to, or I can change the data here in the form perhaps change the location and uh, I also have these little offset values that I can toggle a little bit if I want to change the, the spacing a little bit. This has been the Photoshop exported tutorial. Thanks so much for watching.